Okay, this is uh, question number five now from the June 2010 BY1 paper. Uh, this question is uh, pretty much looking at uh, these two cells, which you can partially see now. If I, uh, if I just scroll down, you can see that uh, there's the rest of them. Okay, uh, quite, uh, quite large diagrams of two cells there. Um, what the question is stating now is the diagram show two cells, X and Y, uh, drawn to the same scale. Okay, uh, Cell X is a secretory cell and cell Y is involved in absorption. All right, now I just want to highlight some things that uh, indicate that cell X is a secretory cell while cell Y is uh, sort of adapted for absorption. Let's go to cell Y first. This first top region here. Okay, that. Okay, is uh, known as a brush border. Okay, uh, they are most likely microvilli. Okay, and microvilli are uh, projections from the surface of a cell that actually increase the surface area of the cell. Okay. Uh, so whenever you see a feature like that, it is highly, highly suggestive that the cell is uh, adapted for absorption. Um, the other features that uh, indicate the cell uh, is involved in absorption is a large number of these structures. All right, they're, they're a little bit difficult to... Um, interpret these cells to be honest uh, they look like cells from a very very old biology textbook okay don't tend to see them as as sort of cluttered as this these days um, but there's another one uh, all of those structures are mitochondria okay there's a mitochondria there that's been cut um, in a different plane uh, in a previous video uh, I've explained about planes of organelles Okay, um, so uh, there's quite a lot going on in each of these cells, but they're the two main features that suggest cell Y is a cell adapted for absorption. Large number of mitochondria and this brush border or microvilli. Okay, uh, let's go on to um, cell X. Um, that cell uh, lacks a brush border. Okay. Uh, but it does have a large, large number of these uh, circular structures, which in reality will be spheres. Okay, uh, remember, microscope images are two-dimensional uh, representations of a three-dimensional structure. Okay, uh, so these uh, spherical structures are actually uh, vesicles, secretory vesicles, and what's happening at the top here is a vesicle has fused to the cell membrane and you will get a process known as exocytosis occurring which is the release of substances from uh, from the cell okay uh, this cell very much has less mitochondria okay if you were to uh, look closely at these two cells you will see far less mitochondria in uh, cell x OK, uh, so there's just some basic features of those two cells that uh, allow you to interpret what kind of function they do. So just to remind you again, cell X is for secretion, cell Y is for uh, absorption. Right, let's move on to um, part A then. Uh, we have a table here. Uh, you're asked to complete the table by inserting three ways in which the structure of cell X differs from the structure of cell Y. Now, this is only worth three marks here. You've got a mark uh, for each uh, uh, row. All right, so that suggests to me now you need um, statements that make a direct uh, comparison there. You have to link uh, your uh, statements up, which will make more sense now once I start putting my answers in. All right. So for this, you really have to look closely at these cells and you have to be able to identify the organelles uh, present in the cell. OK, so um, let's move back up to this cell and have a have a little look at them. 
um, I can't obviously get all the cell in the shot at the same time but uh, I'll keep it there that'll that'll do for us an immediate difference is cell uh, uh, cell X there has um, uh, a lot more vesicles than uh, cell Y okay that's a, that's a, the most obvious feature I think uh, so that's certainly one feature you could put in cell cell X has uh, more vesicles than uh, cell Y uh, the other next obvious thing for me is the number of mitochondria okay there's there's less uh, or fewer mitochondria in cell X than there are in cell Y okay uh, I think I think they're two two most obvious features okay the third most obvious feature if I now scroll uh, up to the top of the cells okay cell X has no microvilli okay but cell Y does all right so there's the three most obvious uh, differences now in the mark scheme um, the examiner has got some other um, features which he considers to be different um, I think these would be the, the, the differences are there but uh, I think they'd be perhaps more difficult to uh, to, to see uh, he says that in cell X there's actually more nuclear pores so I've arrowed one nuclear pore and I've just arrowed now a second one on cell X okay so he says there's more nuclear pores in cell X than there are in the uh, the cell uh, Y which I'd agree okay certainly looks like that uh, I think that structure there would be a nuclear pore um, possibly there no, I'm not too sure about that one so yes I would say there's there's less nuclear pores in cell Y but I don't think it's the most obvious one to go for uh, to be honest okay um, the examiner then uh, looks at the uh, rough ER and uh, he says that there's uh, in cell X there's um, a large amount of rough ER which is rough endoplasmic reticulum uh, compared to uh, cell Y Ooh, yes now to be honest with you you would expect more rough endoplasmic reticulum in an excretory uh, or secretory cell because they're likely to be secreting proteins possibly uh, so yeah I would go for that but again I don't think it's immediately obvious that there are more rough endoplasmic reticulum in cell X than cell Y okay but but the logic is correct there okay uh, so I shall type some answers in and then you can see what I mean about making a direct uh, comparison there okay so I've uh, put in my um, uh, differences and as you can see uh, and this is what the examiner will want I've put large number of vesicles for cell X and then I've made the the direct comparison then to cell Y no vesicles okay I've done the same then for no villi for cell X and there are microvilli in cell Y uh, there's few mitochondria um, in cell X and then there's a large number of mitochondria in cell Y okay so make sure you put the direct comparisons like that otherwise you won't get the mark uh, the reason why is that there's only three marks for this question there's a little tip for you so it must mean there's a mark per row because there's three rows um, so if you don't make your uh, or list your differences like that you you won't get any marks at all okay right uh, moving on then part B um, explain how the label structures help each cell to carry out its function uh, so let's scroll up uh, to the cells again <clears throat> so structure A of course is the uh, the vesicle structure B um, now um, be careful here um, I think it's pretty much uh, been well labeled 
the um, the examiner is pointing there to ribosomes okay so the arrows do point to the ribosomes okay and uh, lastly then C um, is uh, is a mitochondria there all right so if you were not able to identify uh, those structures within the cell um, you really have no chance of um, getting three marks now you may very well be able to identify the structures but if you can't uh, state their functions you've also lost three marks okay um, again as I keep on saying in these uh, exam exam technique videos if you can uh, retain basic facts okay about functions of organelles um, <clears throat> you can get uh, a lot of marks in uh, in an exam here three marks now just for stating functions of those three organelles it couldn't be simpler all right what's the function of the uh, the vesicles well it's to transport substances to the cell or plasma membrane that's what they do they uh, more often than not come from the um, from the Golgi body and they travel through the cytoplasm and then they, they fuse with the cell membrane so the vesicles transport substances to the uh, the cell membrane uh, structure B is the ribosomes straightforward protein synthesis that's what they do uh, C uh, be careful here all right uh, that's the mitochondria don't state things like produces energy don't just put respiration okay um, you've got to put their, their their function in this case is the production or synthesis of ATP all right ATP of course is adenosine triphosphate and uh, that's the uh, uh, the energy molecule with which uh, all organisms on life use okay uh, there's the answers then um, not much more to say about part B uh, part C then is the last uh, uh, part of this question and it's asking now for cell X only for cell X then okay name and describe the process by which secretory products are passed out of the cell okay um, the actual um, name of the process for one mark out of two would be exocytosis that'll get you one mark all right now you have to describe the process well you know you can talk quite a lot about this but not here because you've only got two marks and you've only got three lines all right so you have to sort of judge uh, sort of the level and um, depth of your answer here okay I would say then basically after stating its exocytosis just say that uh, the vesicles fuse with the plasma membrane okay and then the, the product the substance is uh, is released okay I think that would be more than adequate for uh, two marks